Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? It is Swimplays here, back in another video. Um, I hope you guys are all doing good. Uh, it's been a minute, uh, not actually too long. Uh, recently we just did a video on the how to make a global minute leaderboard and the basically minute door. Um, if you are wondering where the rest of those scripts are, uh, you can go back and look at my other videos. Um, but the next two videos, I think the next video is actually going to be on Cash GUI and Gear Shop. So I'm going to be working on that. I do have a disclaimer. Everything resets. You're going to have to do some jazz with that. Um, and also I'm going to make a video on how to use HD Admin because it has a script where you can add minutes and et cetera to yourself. I'll also make a, I might make a command or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, feel free to subscribe right now if you aren't. Um, and put that post code notifications on because it means a lot to me, you guys. And make sure to join the Discord because we are actually doing a Discord giveaway at 500 members. We are at 233 at the moment, so that's pretty good. But, um, yeah. So, what you're going to do is go in the description, look for the models, and grab this model right here. When you grab it, just click that. It should say that, and you should have it item owned. That jazz. Once you have it, um, either go in your vibe game, whatever works. Now, I had to adjust it because uh it was a little weird like mine would be uh how can i say i wanted to have it interact with our vip overhead like this one but um it didn't really i don't I, it was gonna be too hard to do that so i thought this was easier also i'm gonna make a top i know i have top donator but i'm also gonna make a top uh minute soon enough here <laughs> so it's be sick um, but also, if you are wondering, I heard people are wondering uh, how to do the owner ID. Just change your name right here, and you should be able to fix that. So just go ahead and change that. Super easy. Okay, so we're going to get right into this. I'm going to go into a different game so I make sure it works in a different game. But um, yeah, let's get right to this. Okay, so go to your toolbox. Go to your inventory. Uh, sorry, I can't really see, but either way, you should be know this toolbox up here. Grab this right here and click it. Now, it's going to insert this right here. It's a model. Uh, models are all grouped, and you're going to open it up with the click system. Make sure you have Explorer up. If you don't have that, go to View, turn Explorer on, and you'll be good. Now, you're going to grab this, drag it in a replicate storage, right-click, and hit Ungroup. That's the event for Show GUI. This is uh, basically the remote event. This is what we're going to trigger when we want to show the GUI. Um, you're going to grab this, Service Script Service, bring it down here, and Ungroup. That's the AFK handler. We'll look at that in a second. This is a starter character. Now, this is in starter player and then starter character scripts. It's a little confusing. And then you're in ungroup. Now, you can just get rid of this. And also, like I said, if you do have this you're going from the vibe game, don't worry. It's not going to mess with any of the scripts. Um, but yeah, super simple. So, uh, if you don't have any of these, by the way, some people don't have them, go to uh, model and go to service and make sure to insert your service if you don't have it. So, you can do that. Um, but yeah. So, we're going to quickly test it, make sure it works. Um, but how this works is when the player tabs out, um, you basically get displayed. So, right over here, okay, it works. It basically displays it over your head. Now, I made it big enough to go over the other ones too, so it sh you shouldn't have to worry about that. Um, you, if you want to change that and you don't have an overhead in the moment, I'll show you how to do it. But... Um, Either way, it's when you tab out. That's why I do that. I might make an AFK command, but I don't think I will because that's just going to interfere with each other. So we're grabbing the remote event in replicated storage, which is accessed by anything, so local scripts, anything like that. So we're going to look at the AFK hand. Yeah, let's look at the AFK handler. So basically, we're going to check if they're not an AFK, if they are. So if they are not, we're creating the remote event. So AFK, so it's going to create another one, by the way. When you hit play, you'll see another one in replicated storage named AFK. And that's basically how it works. So um, if to update it, we're going to grab the GUI, and I'll show you where to grab that. But in the moment, it's going to be on the player.character.head, kind of like the overheads. And we're just going to grab the AFK tag. And then we're going to grab the frame. So I'll just tell you about that though later. So if enabled, so if we click out, then visible which is going to make the frame visible this thing right here is going to all become true now if you want to change the text you can change it right here to anything you want um but it's all going to become true else everything's going to go invisible so you won't be able to see it and then on server event 
uh, AFK status equals enabled, so yes, that, and then update AFK. Basically kind of like that. It's sort of simple. This is the main script. This is where you edit where you want it to change into anything. You don't really need to touch it, but you can change the text if you want. Um, but yeah, super simple. Now we have the local script. I'll just look at this real quick. This is the main thing for locally seeing if they tab out of the screen or tab in. So um, we're going to grab the AFK remote event. And we're grabbing the in user input service. Now focused released is tabbing. Yeah, I said tab in, but tab out. So when you tab out, focus released, um, the replicate storage fire server equals true. And then when you tab in, equals false. So when it's true, it will trigger that it's true, then you know you're going to see the AFK. When it's false, it tabs back in, it's going to go invisible. Now, this doesn't work for mobile. That's the problem right now, is that it won't work for mobile because, I mean, I mean, it, it should, but not really because it's window. But it's not going to work for mobile. I mean, either way, if you're on mobile, you're not really easy to tap out. So that's the other thing. But um, over here, we have the main script of displaying it. So we're grabbing the character, so script.parent, which is basically this. Um, and we're getting the AFK tag, which is this right here. And we're going to put it above its head. Now, that's how we do with the overheads. Kind of simple, same thing. And if you want to change the AFK tag, this is how we're going to do it. You're going to grab that, put it in the part, and now you'll see, oops, in the part. <laughs> now you're not going to see it, okay? It's not a, you know, whatever. But you got to hit frame and you got to kick visible. Oop. Oh, wait. And then you got to hit AFK tag, visible. <laughs> there you go. Now, if you want to change the color and text, you can do it right down. Not You can do here. You can do the font, all that jazz. And then the gradient, so I made a script where the gradient is going through, so it's a little cooler. But if you want to change the color sequence, just go down here in properties and change these right here. You can click that. Super simple. You know, you can make it to anything. You can do anything, guys. And it, it has that gradient. And I, I think it was cool, so that's why I did it. But that's pretty much that. And then when you're done editing, make sure you just close this and hit visible as, oops, I skipped it both off both of them and sorry the size and position you just go down here to position and just mess with those so yeah um so what we're gonna do yeah we're gonna make this visible off grab that and we're gonna put it in here again you got to make sure it's in there by the way but um yeah i think that's all i got for you guys i wanted this to be a really simple video and something easy to do because people are wondering about the afk handler and by the way i didn't really make this myself i had someone help out and I just decided to edit it up a bit. But, um, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Make sure to join the Discord. And uh, please feel free to subscribe. Um, next videos, we're going to be doing some cool stuff, you guys. I'll see you guys there, okay? Bye. Thank you.